Hello and welcome once again to Akuse's blog. If you are new here, kindly subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell when you're done. In the few weeks ahead of us, I told you we are going to exhibit my mother's secret recipe with you all. So today we are making a benkwai or palm nut soup the traditional way. Palm nut soup or a benkwai is a soup made from palm fruit common in the Ghanaian Nigerian Democratic Republic of Congo and Ivorian communities. The soup is made from palm cream or palm soup base with stewed marinated meat, smoked fish and aromatics. It's often eaten with fufu, omutu, banku or rice and curry. Come with me as I take you through the process today. I will write all the ingredients in the description box below so do check it out when you're done. Now for our proteins, I have my beef, I have my potuje or cow feet, I also have my smoked turkey, I have my impunam or bush meat and then my tilapia. I also have my ginger, I have some onions, I have my salt to taste. I have my pepper and tomatoes, I have my tomato paste, I have my fresh palm fruits, and then I also have my momone or salted fish. To begin with, since we don't have any dry fish, mama is going to make her adrenaline from the tilapia. So she cleaned it and she killed it, cut it into smaller pieces, and then she's going to bake this at 425 degrees Fahrenheit one hour. We didn't add any salt at this stage because we want to dehydrate it. So in another saucepan we are going to also cook our kotoje. This is the Ghana kotoje and it's very dry so we need to cook that one first. So we washed it and then we are going to put it in water to bring it to a bowl. We are going to boil this till it's soft and mostly it's going to take about an hour to two hours to cook this one. So after some time we checked on it and then we will cover it again. Now at two hours it's almost done so we are going to take it out of the fire and then start with the cooking process. You shouldn't overcook this one because for a bell coin it takes a little bit long to cook it so it will continue cooking when it's in the soup. So we are going to pour it into a bigger saucepan and then we will start the cooking process. Now it's time to add our beef or nechinam and then we would also add our smoked turkey to it. If you were to be using keru or willy or cowhide, we would cook it together with the meat at this stage. After, we are going to sprinkle salt on it. I told you that we use all the salt we'll be using for the soup at this stage when mama is preparing her soup. This way, we won't add any salt again to it and I told you, we use our eyes engaging till our sisters tell us it's okay. So we cover it and then check on our dry fish too. So this time round it's okay. So we are going to allow it to cool. And then voila, we are done. So this is also another method of preparing your impatua, as we call it in Ghana, if you don't have any dry fish in the house. Once that is done, we are going to start marinating our beef also. So we are going to chop our onions into smaller chunks. You can use the blender if you want, but then this is mama's style. At the end of the day, you are not going to see any of the onion in the food. It's all going to melt inside it. And trust me, it's so, so delicious. Yeah.
So when she's done cutting it, we will check on her meat to see if the water has evaporated and it has been cooked well. So at this stage, it's okay. So it's time to add our chopped onions into it. Now, when mama is cooking, she uses a lot of onion because we do not like artificial spices in our food. And trust me, adding enough onion to your food makes it so sweet and aromatic too. And you wouldn't need to even put any spices or seasoning cube in it again. So after we are just going to use the little cube size and then we will put it on our meat to season it. Use any seasoning cube or powder of your choice. Give it a quick stir and cover it to allow it to marinate for at least 10 good minutes. So at this stage, we are going to boil or add our vegetables together with our marinated meat. This is optional, you can cook it separately on the other side, but then we tend to save energy when we do it this way. And also all the juice from the vegetables enter the soup too. So on the other side, we are going to warm water before mixing our palm fruit. This is also optional, but then it's always preferred to use warm water when mixing the fresh palm fruit with it, yeah. So we are going to set it aside and also check on our vegetables. It's well cooked, so we we'll take it out of our saucepan and allow it to cool before blending it. another way of preparing our palm soup if you're in a country where you won't get access to your fresh palm nuts so you can check it out we use palm nut paste for that one this one is original and this is the authentic way of preparing your palm nut soup yeah from scratch so I do hope you enjoy it as I do to my old and new viewers and subscribers I'm so grateful for the continuous support Thank you so much for stopping by anytime I upload any of my videos and also sharing it. Now this is the fresh palm fruit. It has been powdered and depulped also so it's time to mix it. Yeah. Next time I will show you how to pound our palm fruit also when we have the time. Yeah, Sad time me. So did so you know a ya and when I wore a bank quine mun in a better retire suspan and as a beckham in Tesana Munya and Muni ye to the piano fen so the day the day near the eye she pines on such a beshi show. Now we are wet shoe now they are two chain. Who we are over sensing what we drew in the movie, but the same baby I'm one me now we drew bit me do food processor as I am moving we are Na wasa hum and we so the dead day we can crabby now side a kind quiet. This process is quite tedious here yeah, because I remember during my childhood anytime we are to prepare a ben quine it is my time to wash the cooking utensils I become a little bit lazy because trust me it's not just a joke, it's very tedious when you are to wash all the oily saucepans and bowls after you are done cooking this meal and it takes a little bit long like three hours to prepare just one soup and trust me this one is authentic it's very delicious and tasty but then others also prefer the palm cream base which is the cooling loose and the other types yeah the ones that has been canned already it's less tedious and then it doesn't take too much time when preparing it so these are the palm kennels in it we are going to take everything out of it and then put it on the other side remember that the fibers from the palm fruit can also be used to light our charcoal when we are cooking on our coal pot so we have two types of our strainers we are going to strain it for the first time in the bigger holes and then we will use the smaller ones to also strain it so that we don't get any chance or any of the fence of the palm fruit inside our soup and look at all the residue from it. 
So after we are going to beat it, yeah, that is how I call it. Yeah, be was sunny. Yeah, we both took a cross. Yeah, be yeah, so we be chin a free. So we yeah, we are no way chin. My friend, I can. My friend, I'm too chinny. We be better to a real mama now. We will so be dear. We be to me dear so we are better when we are crazy. So they can crazy. Now we are a soldier. So we are so. We know sabi sin we were drum beam na wasa no no so ka cry the dead day no they come kwai so at this stage it's time to add a palm fruit base to the marinated meat so you will be scooping it a little at a time make sure to strain it at least two or three times if you are not too sure of your strainer My friend, I a woke up in the morning. As the sun was shining so bright, I was not feeling well. And suddenly, the account came on. Yes, I was very unwell. I was very ill. Now, my friend, it's not coming. Which won't be very good to eat at all. Yeah. So you shake it a little bit like this to make the straining easier. Now look at the pulp or the residue from it. We are going to re pound it again or re-blend it again using the food processor and then you would add it to a palm soup. So always strain it two to three times before adding it to your soup to avoid any residue from the palm nuts in your soup. Now give it a quick stir and then you cover it half way you can also cover it fully when you have time to be checking up on it yeah so this is the base i re-pounded it again and then i added a little bit of the warm water to make sure i don't have any of my cream or the palm cream inside the residue i'm going to strain it one more time before adding it directly to my soup It was a time where ya and kataso say o kataso say ya e be twego into fa wa hun na fa udin lado e to chance na so now is the time to blend our vegetables so we added our fresh ginger and some onions again to it to blend it all in small i added a little bit of water to it after we check on our soup it's not flowing over, so we are going to add our blended vegetables in it. We added the fresh ginger and the onions because we want to make it a little bit aromatic. Add your blended vegetables at this stage after you rinse it with a little bit of water and pour it directly into the soup. Make sure not to use more water else it's going to take a long time to cook it and then you might overcook your meat in the soup when you are done. Now we are going to give it a quick stir after we cover it halfway and then allow it to cook till the water becomes a little bit thick this is going to take roughly 30 to 40 minutes to get that thickness once in a while we'll be checking up on it it's time to add our beef and then our momone to it and quite a and momone there corn can come on for four palm any beef then chili will be you can omit this one if you don't like it or you can add it if you are a fan of our salted beef and then our salted fermented fish which is properly called momone now we are going to add our impunam or our bush meat to it give it a quick wash because this one's contains a lot of gravels and sand with even stones so it's better to wash it really well before adding it to your already cooking soup 
in Puna Mancasanet, the Asian pine to Motai de Ye, a Ben Quayan, and the Ye Wankasana, all who be able to fear be the old quayan on the poor Miss Mamma, it's a mamma, maybe the piano or ya Ben Quayan, or make sure say in Puna Nibi, a warm quayan. So warm pa. A UK, bit me the number of people I have been crying. Then so put them calm at the time. Now these are also chunks of our ajene. We are going to add it into our soup to give it more flavor. Into ajene, asin, and a yeshie ku crying. We must say the beya. A be man you shan so come to prepare. After it's also time to add our tomato paste to our soup, and then. We would add it directly into it like I'm showing you and then we would allow it to continue cooking. So what we cry in Nima Ben Kwan ye pan ye me crum a friend be kwai if you say a crony crown ponu as I baby bra ne won't see any other two be kwai into no no wa be recipes be bra me chill now change ye ni no na one one will fear also no will see at the at a full chance at this stage we can all see that the soup has taken up so it's time to add uh, a jenny or a dry fish in a soup yeah it's when you do good me and my mom no one can cry because i say i'm fine to be a and come on timer now you see what we know if we say you present no no and quite no moon to me Na emani you shame the dead. So who they say over no so they in chili can one very the day, but any day at the same mammy recipe we na yeah yeah to the beano so can say we yeah now who are junior and find chili and come sad time to be out the blue quine na but no no juice na won't quine na nah the dead but quite for the we a territory a car ben quine you cool and a yeah ben quine papa pa. I will go and eat some. My mom is so dear old. Papa, when he is so for my nap, I eat. I can bear five minutes. I'm here to eat when the fridge is full. The day when I kick a drone, I'm cool. And the air bubble young. The shape of my coin is near. Five minutes, pet. I'm here to eat when the coin is ready. Now feel the bubble save. After we are going to add our fresh ginger, onions, and then our pepper into a soup. Mama does this because she wants to give it another flavor and trust me when you do or prepare your soup this way at this stage it gives it more flavor more than adding spices into the soup. So we are going to allow this to cook on low heat for five minutes and then you take it out of the fire. Now even in my hometown there's this popular Food, which is called a Ben Kwaimu, which is indigenous to the Kwai people in Ghana. And trust me, we make the best ones, and anybody will be attached to this delicious food whenever they come to the Kwai to try this recipe. At this stage, our soup is done. You can scoop the oil on top of it. We have another recipe using the oil on top of our palm soup, and I'll teach you how to prepare that one too. I'm in mama's house and trust me, when you are in your mother's house, you are relaxed and she takes over all the delicious recipes that you can ever think of and she makes sure you eat healthy whenever you are around them. You can scoop the oil on top of the soup for other recipes. I'll show you in the coming weeks. Turn off the heat and allow it to cool a little bit before serving. Eat this with rice, rice ball, kokonte, or face the wall. You can also eat it with fufu, banku, kenke, or any swallow of your choice. Thank you lovely people for watching my video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share me out to your family and friends to also become a part of this great family. So we'll see each other next time. It's bye-bye.